India is not only concerned about the safety and security of people living in its own territory, but it always reiterates adopting and executing improved strategies to counter terrorism globally. Recently, T.S. Tirumurthy, India's permanent representative to the UN, assumed the chair of the Security Council Counter-Terrorism Committee for 2022. As the chair for CTC, New Delhi will make determined efforts to ensure that global response to the threat of terrorism remains effective. A report. Over the past several years, across different platforms, India has made sure that it does voice its concerns when it comes to counter-terrorism. The world recognizes India's efforts and hence last year, New Delhi was asked to chair three important committees of the Security Council, which include the Taliban Sanctions Committee, Counter-Terrorism Committee and the Libyan Sanctions Committee. India has recently assumed the chair of Counter-Terrorism Committee for 2022. This committee was formed in September 2001, soon after the tragic terrorist attack of 9-11 in New York. India is chairing this key subsidiary body of the UNSC after a long gap of 10 years. The last time New Delhi held the chairmanship of the CTC was in the year 2011 and 2012. The Counter-Terrorism Committee comprises all 15 members of the Security Council, including India, France, Russia, United Kingdom, United States, China, among others. When terrorism is expanding its tentacles to new areas, Security Council needs to act without delay. And India has now got an opportunity to work closely with all member states to address the issue. Fortunately, India is at the UN Security Council this time and has assumed the chair of the, uh, G, uh, the CTC and has been consistently working on it, whether it is in the context of global terrorism through its comprehensive convention on international terrorism or through uh, focusing that how to define, as Prime Minister Modi himself had said, that the terrorism has not even been defined properly by the, uh, by the United Nations let alone fight it. So there are definitely uh, interests, there are definitely countries even among the P5 uh, which tend to use their geopolitical objectives over the global objectives of fighting terrorism. Uh, India has always singled out that there cannot be a good terrorist, bad terrorist, my terrorist or your terrorist. And that is something that is extremely important to remember. On the eve of assuming chair of the CTC, India had voted in favor of a resolution to renew the mandate of the Counter-Terrorism Committee Executive Directorate. The UN Security Council, through its written silence procedure, renewed the mandate of the Executive Directorate until December 31, 2025. The Counter-Terrorism Committee is assisted by the Executive Directorate, which carries out its policy decisions and conducts expert assessments of the 193 United Nations member states. In its explanation of the vote, India has reiterated it is committed to pursue all the necessary measures in collaboration with other member states towards the goal of zero tolerance for terrorism. The country will make determined efforts to further enhance the role of CTC in strengthening the multilateral response to counter-terrorism. More importantly, New Delhi will ensure that the global response to the threat of terrorism remains unambiguous, undivided and effective. The South Asian nation has called on member states to remain united against the tendency of labeling acts of terrorism based on its motivation. It believes such categorization will lead the global community back to the pre-9-11 era of my terrorism versus your terrorist. Despite the differences, India has successfully shown it as it was seen in the, Ju uh, the June 7th GSTC meeting. Uh, India has uh, stood by it and the consensus has been obtained. And similarly, when uh, the Security Council Resolution 2593 uh, with regard to Afghanistan was there at that time, 
terrorism coming out of, emanating out of Afghanistan in a very uh, fluid situation has been a major concern and India has focused on it very clearly. It has very clearly articulated its views and it has taken on board all sides. So I have no doubt that India will make a great contribution to this fight, but at the same time, uh, the international geopolitics will continue to play its role. The chairing of the Counter-Terrorism Committee has a special resonance for India, which has not only been at the forefront of fighting terrorism, especially cross-border terrorism, but has also been one of its biggest victims. Chairing this committee is a ringing endorsement of the country's leadership in the fight against terrorism. It will help keep the focus on the presence of terrorists and their sponsors threatening the peace in the South Asian region and beyond.